Good morning. You're listening to FloridaDaily.net, and I'm Kemp Parr. I'm at the BDNY show in New York, and I'm standing here with an icon, Lee Blair with Milliken. How you doing? I'm doing good, Kent. How are you? Good. Let me tell you why I said that. You're obviously going to be recognized tomorrow night. You are winning the NEWH Icon of the Year Award. Congratulations. It's quite an honor. Let me just throw out real quick that in the flooring business related to Milliken, there's two other people that have won this award. Roger Milliken won the award, and Ray Anderson, obviously, who founded Interface, but who also worked at Milliken for a while. So now you're the third. It's pretty special. It's very special to walk in possibly some shoes of uh, some big guys that, that went before me, for sure. Well, don't discount. You deserve it. So let's talk real quick about your past. You started at Milliken, spent 19 years there, then Jim McCallum, took a role, and you came right behind him over to the Mohawk Group. You spent 14 years there, and now you've been back for four years at Milliken, right? Yeah, four and a half years back, Kent. Really enjoying it. Are you having fun? I'm having a lot of fun. I really am. I missed the company while I was gone. You know, we're known for innovation. We've invented a lot of products over the years, and it's just good to be back. So what's it take to win this award? Well, first of all, 30 years minimum in the industry. They say a lot of accomplishments and giving back to the industry, uh, charitable and also just giving back to the people uh, that you've worked with over the years, mentoring. Well, I've known you. I mean, we're not close friends, but it's your demeanor. You know, you've never met a stranger. You bring groups together. So I think it's, it's partly your personality as well. Yeah, for sure. And it, Listen, if it wasn't about people, I would have not been successful in my career. So, yeah, I, I really love people. And in the commercial business, this is the funnest one to be in, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I was over the Mohawk Group for uh, four years before I left. But I, this place is always, hospitality's got a special place in, it, in my heart, for sure. Yeah. Well, let's talk about NEWH first. That actually stands for for the network of executive women in hospitality, Correct. but it's evolved over time. It really is like the, I believe some people say it's the IIDA of hospitality, right? Yeah, I mean, it's truly about networking, you know, building those bonds across the industry and, and just driving that whole relational aspect of, of what we do. They put together a little booklet to honor you, and it's got some snapshots in it of your family, and, uh, I mean, you've got a son that's in this business as well, That's right? correct, yes. He's one of Durkin's uh, top performers. And love the fact that he's in the industry, and Durkin's a great brand. So, yeah. Chip off the old block, right? I think so, perhaps, yeah. So tell us, get a little business done here. What's your message here at the show? Well, uh, hospitality's back, right? And we lead with carpet tile. So we, we invented in-register carpet tile, the only ones in the world that can make it. So we're all about you know creating solutions and we have a, a pro process called Modular Landscapes where we inset carpet tile into LVT in rooms, and uh, uh, that's our message, you know, is that's our story, modular that looks like Broadloom. Yeah, one of your messages, too, and I see it on display over here, is you create dyeable grayish goods, okay, so that you can immediately respond with an order just by adding color to the di different textures you offer in the grayish goods. Right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And we can, get, we can ratchet up and down ounce weights with the same pattern, so we can value engineer or we can go up the price ladder. What do you think is going to happen in the next couple of years in this business? Well, you know, barring anything like a, a pandemic, I think it's going to be a real good ride. Lending is tight right now and interest rates are up, so that, that's put a little curb on some of the enthusiasm, but it's going to be good for the next three or four years. I do believe that. Now, there's been some changes at Milliken. Obviously, we mentioned Jim McCallum. He's retired, and Patrick Keese has stepped in. Have you trained him yet? I'm working on it, but I tell you, he's a fast study. I really like Patrick. Bias for action, for sure. He, he comes from Sunoco, is that right? He's Sunoco and was in packaging primarily his entire career, yes. And you've got Ali Finkel, what's her married name? Bruski. Bruski. Yeah. She's, in the, she's part of your team as well. Yeah. She leads the hospitality business now, that's right, yep. And I'm over all the Americas, so I have commercial, residential, and then hospitality reports up through me also. Well, it's good to catch up with you. Congratulations on this honor. Thank you, Kemp. Again, we're talking to Lee Blair, the recipient of the Icon of the Year Award here in the hospitality business. And you can listen to Kemp R. and FloridaLA.net.